Hi, I'm back. I'll be reading. I'll be re reading the 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 um the daily the the reading plan called the reading plan from from our daily bread called called the peace and promise of Christmas, and it's a day and it's a ten day reading plan. Day one before and after. By Bill C R O W D E R today's to today's Bible reading Galatians chapter four verses four to seven. But when the set the set time had fully come, God sent His Son, born of a woman, born under the law, to to redeem those under the law, that we that we might that we might. Receive adoption to do to sonship, because you are his sons. God sent the spirit of his son into our hearts. The spirit who calls out Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave, but God's child. And since you and since you are his child, God has God has God has made made you made you also an heir, an heir. When the set time had fully come, God sent His Son, born of a woman, born under the law, to redeem those under the law. Galatians chapter four, verses four to five. My wife M A R L E N E and I enjoy watching home improvement programs. We we love learning from the from the experts. As they transform, as they transform, a entire living space into something new and remarkable. But there's a catch to all that learning. We have to to understand the the the, the before of that old house before we can before we can appreciate appreciate before we can appreciate appreciate what leads to the after. In infinitely more important ways, this really applies to the Christmas story. When we tell the story, we tend to start too late. We celebrate the the arrival of the baby Jesus, which is wonderful, but we but we forget, but we forget he had he had to leave his home to come to come to come to ours. We don't we don't reflect. In wonder on the before, what, what he gave up, the eternal Son of God left the left the Father's presence in order to to to, to become that helpless baby. In Galatians chapter four, verses four and five, we read, "But when the the set time had fully come, God sent His Son, born of a woman, born under the law." To to redeem those under the law. The key word here is sent. Jesus was sent here from from somewhere else, a somewhere in which in which he lived for 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 all for all eternity past. That he would would that he would leave that place and come to the to this place is one is one measure of how of how deeply. We are love, and that's the love we cel we celebrate as we as we remember the birth of the of the eternal one in human form. What do you picture when you think of what of what Jesus gave up to to come to come to our planet? Why don't do why do you think he did it, Jesus? We can't thank you enough. For choosing to visit your creatures in the form of a, of a human baby, help us never to forget the scoop of your love for us. That's the end for day one. Now I, now I will be reading our our daily bread for today. For today. 
for January twenty first, twenty twenty one. Small fish by Cindy H E S S K A S P E R. Come, follow me, Matthew chapter nineteen, verse twenty one. Jesus answered, "It." Jesus answered, "If you want to be perfect, go sell sell your possessions and give to to the poor." And you will, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. Read Matthew chapter chapter nineteen verses sixteen to twenty six. Just then, just then, a man came up to Jesus and asked, "Teacher, what good thing must I do to get eternal life?" Why do you ask me about what is good? Jesus replied, "There, it, there was only one who it, who was good. If you want to, if you want to to enter life, keep the commandments. Which ones?" He he inquired. Jesus replied, "You shall not murder. You shall not commit commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not give false testimony." Honor your father and and mother, and love your neighbor as as yourself. All these I have kept. The the young man said. The young man said, "Well, what do what do I still lack?" Jesus answered, "If you want to be perfect, go sell your possessions and give to the poor, and you will and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come." Follow me. When the young man heard this, he went away sad because he had great wealth. Great wealth. Then Jesus said to his disciples, "Truly I tell you, tell you, it is hard for for someone who is rich, who is rich, to enter the kingdom of heaven again. I tell you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for than for someone." Who is rich to enter the kingdom of God? When the when the disciples heard this, they they were greatly astonished, and 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 as and as who then can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, "With man, the, this is impossible, but with but with God, all things are possible." Bible in the year Exodus chapters one, two, and three, one, two, and three. Matthew chapter fourteen, verses one to twenty-one. An introduction to ex to Exodus. We can, we can call Exodus the great escape. The Israelites were slaves in Egypt, but God had promised to get the Israelites, the Israelites, the land, the land of Canaan, to keep His promise. God performed miracles in order to to force Egypt, Egypt's king, to free the people. Then God led them across the desert to Mount Sinai. There, God gave. The Israelites rules for living good and happy life, and happy life, and happy lives, and taught them how to worship Him. Headlines: w- Woman, w- headlines: Woman d- disobey baby killing king. Exodus chapter one, chapter one, page seventy nine. Prophet, prophet, pesters king. Exodus chapter eight, page eighty six. Food rains on the Israelites. Exodus, ex- Exodus, chapter sixteen, page ninety nine. God's, God's top ten list. Exodus chapter twenty, page one hundred four. God moves into ten. Exodus chapter forty, per page one hundred thirty. M I R I A M, the Bible, the Bibles, for for song leader. Praises God for victory. See Exodus chapter fifteen. Scavenger hunt. 
challenge your family to identify these things in, ex in Exodus. Have each person write down the objects and how long it takes to find them. And each person add each at each person's time together and you and use the chop below to wink one another. Hint. Check chapters 2, 7, 17, 26, 28, 32, and 39. Object. Time. 1. A waterproof candle. 2. A, a cannibal web tire. 3. A stone fountain. 4. Fury, fury drapes. 5. Headgear. With a message. 6. A fool. A fool's. Gold guard, seven, holy armor, uh, armor, total, at the times, one to five minutes, expert, six to ten minutes, master, eleven to fifteen minutes, apprentice, apprentice, ten, ten commandments, dangerous, your mom and dad may have seen, may have seen the, the ten commandments posted on classroom walls, when they were kids in school, in, in, in school, but if you go to a public school today, I mean, to school today, you won't see the Ten Commandments anywhere. Public schools are not allowed to post the the Ten Commandments today. Why not? Or the other 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 Ten Commandments dangerous? Of course not. Actually, actually, they protect people from danger. God gave Moses the, the Ten Commandments. When you follow God's rules, you not only you not only do what's what's right, you do you do what's good for you. The Ten Commandments teach people not to not to lie, steal, or hurt each other. They teach people to love each other. Today's schools today's school today's today's schools have have hate, crime, drugs, drugs, violence, guns, and not much love. They don't have. They don't have the Ten Commandments either. One in school. One in school. Be a, a great place. If everyone followed the Ten Commandments, there would be a a a lot less hate and a lot more love. Even though public schools won't post the, the Ten Commandments in classrooms, school is a, it's a good place to follow these guidelines. If you follow the, 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 the Ten Commandments, you will be doing what's right, and you will, and you will, and you will help make, help make, help make school a better place to be. What's in it for me? Exodus shows me. God uses his, his his power to help people. God teach God teaches me how how to live like God provides for all my needs. God my, my needs. God likes me. God likes me to worship him. What 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 good? What good? All words. What if you what if you didn't have any wars? What if you what if you what what if you what if you never had to brush your teeth? Yuck mouthwash or if you never had to clean your room bug heaven. If you think about it you you can probably come up with good reasons for most of your mom and dad's wars. No wonder God gave the Israelite tools to live by. Without rules, life gets hard. Life gets bad fast. And j and just think, nobody. And just think, nobody no 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 knows better than God what's good for you. You will be much happier if you obey God's rules. Knock knock. Who's there? Manna, manna who? Manna, manna. Would you would you would you look at all this food? Widow, who broke the most commandments? And how many and how many and how many did he break? Exodus chapter thirty two verse nineteen. She G 
Mo G G Moses must must have been ugly. He why why do you why do you say that she because he had to wear a veil over his face. Exodus chapter thirty four verse thirty three one. Love God above everything. Two. Worship only God. Three. Use God's use God's name with respect. Four. Rest and worship one day each week. Five. Respect parents. Six. Protect lives. Seven. Respect boys. Eight. Respect other respect others property. Nine. Protect protect others protect others reputations. Ten. Be satisfied with what you have. With what you have. Exodus, chapter one. Chapter one. Israel comes to Egypt. These are the names of the sons of it of Israel. That is Jacob, who came with him to Egypt with their with their families: Reuben, Simeon, Eli, Vi, and Judah. I S S A C H A R C E B U L U N and Benjamin and Benjamin Dan and N A P H T A L I Gad and Asher Joseph was already in Egypt. The total number of Jacob's descendants was seventy. Eventually, Joseph, all his, all all his all his brothers, and and that entire generation died. But the but the The descendants of of Israel had many children. They became so numerous and strong that the land was filled with them.、Um, the Israelites become slaves. Then a new king, who knew nothing ab-、uh, about about jo- Joseph, began to rule in Egypt. He said to his people, "There are there are too too many too many." Israelites and they are stronger than we are. We have to 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 outsmart them, or they will increase in number. Then if then if war breaks out, they will join our enemies, fight against us, and leave the country. So so the Egyptians put slave drivers in charge of them in order to 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 in order to oppress oppress them through forced labor. They built P I T H O M and Ram and Ramses as supply cities for Pharaoh. But the more the Israelites were oppressed, the more they increased in number and spread out. The Egypt the spread out. The the Egyptians couldn't couldn't stand them any longer, so they forced the Israelites to work hard as they they made they made. Their lives bitter with 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 backbreaking work and mortar and bricks and every and every kind of work in the fields, all the jobs the、uh, all the jobs the 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 Egyptians gave them were brutally hard, were brutally hard. Pharaoh tells tells the midwives to kill all Hebrew, to kill all all Hebrew. Baby boys, and the king of Egypt told the Hebrew mid- midwives, whose names were S H I P H R A H and P U A H, when you help the Hebrew, when you help the Hebrew woman in childbirth, look at the child when you deliver it. If it's a boy, kill it. But if it's a, but if it's a girl, let it live. However, the midwives failed God and didn't obey the king. Of Egypt's orders, they let the boys live. So the king of Egypt called for the for the midwives. He he he. He asked them, "Why have you you done this? Why have you you let the boys live?" The midwives answered Pharaoh, "Hebrew women are not like 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 Egyptian women. They are so healthy that they have that they have." That they have their their babies before a midwife arrives. God was good to the midwives, so the people increased in number and 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 became very strong. Because the midwives feared God, He gave them families of their of their own. The Pharaoh commanded all his 
all his people to throw into the into the Nile every Hebrew every Hebrew boy that was born, but to, but to let every girl live, but to let every girl live. Pharaoh's daughter adopts Moses. Exodus chapter two. A man from Eli the Ephrathite's family married a Eli the I T E woman. The woman became pregnant and had a son. She saw how beautiful he he was and hid him for three months. When she couldn't hide him any longer, she took a basket made of pap made of made of papyrus plants and coated it with tar and pitch. She put the paper. She put the baby in it and set it among the papyrus plants near the bank of, of the Nile River. The babysitter stood at a distance to see what would happen to him. To him. Why a pharaoh's daughter? Why a pharaoh's daughter came to the Nile to take a bath of servants? Walked along the bank of the river. She saw the basket among the papyrus plants, and sent her slave girl to get it. <coughs> to get it, Pharaoh's daughter opened the basket, looked at the baby, and saw it was a boy. He was crying, and she felt sorry for him. She said, "This is one of the Hebrew children." Then the then the baby's sister. Asked Pharaoh's daughter, "Should I go and get one of the, the the Hebrew woman to nurse the baby for you?" She answered, "Yes." So the girl brought the baby's mother. Pharaoh Pharaoh's daughter said to the woman, "Take take this child, nurse him for me, and I will pay you." She took the child and nursed him. When the when the child was old enough, she brought him to Pharaoh's daughter. And he became her son. Pharaoh's daughter named him, named him Moses. Pulled out and said, "I and said, I pulled him out of the water." Moses commits murder and flees to M I D I A N. In the course of time, Moses grew up. Then he went to see his his own people, and watched them suffering and watched the. And watched them suffering under forced labor. He saw a Hebrew, one of his own pe people, being being beaten by an Egyptian. He looked all around, and when he didn't see anyone, he beat the Egyptian to death and hid the body in the sand. When Moses went there the next day, he saw two Hebrew men fighting. He asked the one who started the fight. Why are you beating another Hebrew? The man asked, "Who made, who made you a ruler and judge? Are you going to 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 kill me as you killed the Egyptian?" The Moses was afraid and thought that the, that everyone knew what he had done. When Pharaoh when Pharaoh heard what Moses had done, he he tried to have him killed. But Moses fled from Pharaoh and settled in the land of M I D I A N. Moses marries Z I P P O R A H. One day, while Moses was sitting by a by a by a well, seven seven daughters of the priests of M I D I A N came. They drew water and filled the and filled the troughs to water their father's sheep. But some shepherds came and chased them away. So Moses got up, came to their defense, and then watered their sheep. When they when they came back to 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 their father R E U E L, he asked them, "Why have why have you come come home so early today?" They answered, "An Egyptian rescued us from some shepherds. He even he even." Drew water for us and watered the sheep. R E U E R E U E L S. His daughters. Where is he? Why did Why did you Why did you leave the man there? Go invite him to supper. Moses decided to stay with the man 
So R E so R E U E L gave his daughter his daughter Z I P P O R A H to Moses as his wife. She gave birth to a to a son, Moses, named him G E R S H O M O M, foreigner, because he said, "I was a foreigner li living in another country." In another country, the Israelites prayed to God during their suffering. After a long time passed, the king of Egypt died. The Israelites still groaned because they were slaves. So they cried out, and their cries for help went up to to God. God heard their groaning, and He remembered His promise to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. God saw. God saw the Israelites being a prayer. A, Being oppressed and was concerned about them, about them. Moses at the burning bush, Exodus chapter three. Moses was taking care of the sheep of his father-in-law Jethro, the priest of M I D I A N. As he led the sheep to the far side of the desert, he came to H O R E B, the mountain of God. The messenger of the Lord appeared to him, appeared to him there as flames of fire coming out of a bush. Moses looked, and although the bush was on fire, it was not burning up. So he thought, "Why isn't this bush burning up? I must go over there and see this strange sight." When the Lord saw that Moses had come over to to see it, God called to him from. The bush, Moses, Moses, Moses answered, "Here I am." God said, "Don't come any closer. Take off your sandals, because because this place where you are standing is holy ground. I am the God of your ancestors, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob." Moses hid his face because he was afraid to look at God. The Lord said, "Are you seeing the misery of my people in Egypt?" And I have heard the, and I have heard them, heard them crying out because of the slave drivers, uh, of the slave drivers. I know how how much they are suffering. I have come to rescue them from the power of the Egyptians and to bring the and to bring them from. Jeez. And to and to bring them from that land to a good land with plenty of room for everyone. It is a land flowing with milk and honey, where the where the Canaanites, H I T T I T E S M O I T E S P E R I Z Z I T E S H I V I T E S and J E B U S I T E S live. I have heard the cry of the people of Israel. I have seen how the how the How the Egyptians are oppressing them now. Now go. I am sending you to Pharaoh so that you you can bring my people Israel out of Egypt. But Moses said to God, "Who am I? Who who am I? Who am I that I, that I should go that I should go to Pharaoh and bring?" The people of Israel out of Egypt. God answered, "I will be with you, and this will and this will be the proof that I sent you. When you bring the people out of Egypt, all of you will will worship God on this mountain." Then then God replied to God. Then Moses replied to God, "Suppose I go to the people of Israel and say to them, 'The God of your ancestors has sent me to you.'" And they asked me, "What is his name? What should I?" I tell them. God answered Moses, "I am who I, I am who I am. This is this is what you must say to the people, to the to the to the people of Israel. I am has sent me to you again." God said to Moses, "This is what you must say." To the people of Israel, the Lord God of your ancestors, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, has sent me. Has sent me to you. This is my name forever. This is my title throughout every generation. 
Go assemble the leaders of Israel. Say to them, The Lord God of your ancestors, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, appear to me. He said, I have, I have paid close attention to you and, and have seen what and, uh, and have seen what, what has what has been done to you in Egypt. I promise I would uh, I promise I will take you away away from your misery in Egypt to the land of the of the Canaanites H I D T I T E S M O I T E S P E R I Z Z I T E S H I V I T E S and J E B U S I T E S a land flowing with milk and honey the leaders of Israel will listen to you then you and the leaders must go to to the king of Egypt and say to him, The Lord God of the Hebrews has met with 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 us. Please let please let us travel three days into the desert to offer sacrifices to the Lord our God. I know that the king of Egypt I I know that I know that the king of Egypt will not let you go even if he is forced to. So I will use my power to strike to strike Egypt. After, after all, the miracles that, that that I would do there, he will let you go. I will make the the the, the Egyptians kind to the people of Israel, so that when you when you leave, you will not leave empty handed. Empty handed. Every Hebrew woman should ask. Her Egyptian neighbor and and any and any woman live and any woman living in a home for silver and gold jewelry and for clothes put them on your sons and and daughters. This way you will strip Egypt of its wealth of its wealth of its wealth. Matthew chapter 14. Matthew chapter 14 verses 1 to 21. We call in John's death. Mark chapter 6 verses 14 to 29. Luke chapter 9 verses 7 to 9. At that time, Howard, ruler of Galilee, heard the news about Jesus. He said to his officials, This is John the Baptizer. He has come back to life. That's why he has the, the power to perform these miracles. Howard had arrested John, tied him up, tied him up and put him in, in prison. Howard did this for H-E-R-O-D-I-A-S, the wife of his brother Philip. John had been, been, been telling her what it's not it's not right for for you to be married to her. So her what wanted to kill John. However, he he was afraid of the people because they they thought John was a prophet. When her what celebrated his birthday. H e r o d i a s daughter dance for his guests. Howard was so delighted with her, with her, that he 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 swore he would give her he he would give her her anything she wanted. Give give her anything she wanted. Urge by your mother, she said, "Give me the head of John the baptizer on a platter." The king regretted his promise. But, but because of his oath and his guest, he or, he ordered he or, he or, he ordered he 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 ordered that a wish be granted. He had John he had John's head cut off in prison. So the head was brought on a platter and given to the girl who took it to her mother. John's disciples came for the body and buried it. Then they went. To tell Jesus, to tell Jesus, Jesus feeds more than than five thousand. Mark chapter six verses thirty to forty-four. Luke chapter nine, chap, 
chapter 9, verses 10 to 17, John, chapter 6, verses 1 to 14. When Jesus heard about John, he left in a boat and went to a, to a, and went to a place where he could be alone. The, the crowds heard about this and followed him on foot from the cities. When, Je when Jesus got out of the boat, he saw a large crowd. He felt sorry for them and cured their sick people. In the evening, the disciples came to him. They said, no one lives around here, and it's, and it's already late. Send the crowd to the villages to buy food. For themselves, Jesus said to them, they don't, need, they don't need to go away. You give them something to eat. They told him, all we, all we have here are five loaves of bread and two fish. Jesus said, bring them to me. Then he ordered the people to sit down on the grass. After he, after he took, took the, the, the five loaves and the two fish, he looked up to heaven and blessed the food. He broke the, lo the loaves apart and gave them to the disciples, and they gave them to the people. All of them ate as much as they wanted when they, when they, when they picked up the leftover pieces, they filled twelve baskets, about about five thousand about five five thousand men men had eaten. This number does not include the women and children who had eaten who had eaten. Over several years, over over several years, a British couple living in West Africa deve developed a strong friendship with a man in the town, and many and many times shared the love of Jesus and the story of of salvation with him. The friend, however, was reluctant to relinquish to relinquish to relinquish the lifetime of allegiance. He had too another religion, even though he came to recognize that faith in and in Christ was was the greater truth. His concern, his concern was was partly financial, since he was a leader in his faith and, and depended on the compensation he was receiving. He also feared losing his reputation among the people in his community. With sadness, he explained, I'm like a man fishing with my hands in a stream. I have caught a, a, a small fish in one, but a bigger fish is swimming by to catch the bigger fish. I have two to, to let go of the smaller one. The witch, the witch, young ruler Matthew wrote about in Matthew 19 had a similar problem. When he approached Jesus, he asked, what good things must I do to get eternal life? Verse 16. He seemed, sin he seemed sincere, but he didn't want to fully surrender his life to Jesus. He was rich, not only in money, but also in his pride uh, of being a wool follower. Although he, he desired eternal life, uh, eternal life, he loved, he loved something, something, Something else, something else, more, more, and rejected Christ's word. When we humbly surrender our life to Jesus and accept His free gift of salvation, He 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 invites us, "Come, follow Me." Verse twenty-one. What well, one thing does G does Jesus require of us to receive salvation and the promise of eternal life with Him? What's keeping you from fully surrendering to him? Dear Father, thank you for offering your son as payment for my sin. Help me to so to help me to to surrender wholly to you. Okay, that's all. Bye.